bookshelf drawers around the shop and I'll tell you what they just become dumping stations I just throw whatever I can in there because it's, it's constantly in my way if it's on the table open the drawer throw it in there and forget about it well guess what when I go to find something um, a particular bit or a screwdriver or a screw bit can't find it I gotta dig through piles of garbage so today I'm gonna make some adjustable dividers for my brand new outfeed table that I just made and uh, we're gonna get after it. So I, I, I took some quarter inch MDF, as you see here, uh, cut it into my length and width of the drawer and started uh, building a jig to cut notches or dados or whatever you wanna call these uh, into these boards. So what I did is created a simple indexing jig that I can just move this three inches over uh, and cut each individual dado or notch. Um, I'll show you the jig a little later on. So if I wanted to, um, I have to hit all of the widths and the lengths and then I can drop these in and have adjustability on pretty much anything I want. All of this is based on a three inch uh, cube, so to speak. So I have, when these are put together, I'll have three inch dividers or I can pull a piece and have a long divider. I have flexibility and that's what I'm looking for. So let's get over to the table saw and start finishing off all the notches for these dividers. that I've made. Uh, this is attached to my Incra uh, sliding miter. What you can see here, this is obviously um, the first notch and then here is my indexing pin. So this pin will index three inches over for each one of the notches to accept the uh, dividers. So right now I have the fence set up to center the first notch and after that's centered, I'll push the fence out of the way and then cut all of the uh, notches required in the width uh, portion. All right, well, let's get after cutting these notches. Safety first. It's gonna get noisy, but I'll see if I can edit that out. Uh, here we go. So I'm gonna first start with the center notch and then go from there. I'm actually gonna center notch all of the long portions so I can get the fence out of the way and get the remaining, uh, remaining dividers notched. So you can see here, I'm gonna cut many at once. Um, when I get to indexing, I may not be able to do so many because it's a pretty tight fit accuracy so let's uh, let's go here we go center notches are done and now it's as simple as resting notch on the key and let's get after it. So I'm going to do three at once and go from there. Here we go.
have many more to cut, and I won't bore you with that. Cutting is done. Time to fit these all to the to the drawers. So, time to have some fun, do a little organization. I'll show you guys how they all fit and how I configured my drawers uh, in a bit. So here's one of my drawers. I've got the these pieces as well as crosses. Now, you can see I can adjust to any size. Uh, I can change this as I go if I want. I'm going to put this drawer together as a full 3x3. Three three. So I'm going to need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 of the shorts to fit in. It's going to be a little bit frustrating, but the end result should be amazing. Tight fit. I probably could have gone a little looser, but I didn't. How cool is that? Simple jig cheap material, beautiful opportunities for organization. I just want to give you a heads up how this turned out. I think it worked pretty well. Uh, set up a few of my drawers, need to put some more thought into a couple, but the dividers, they fit nice and tight. I did put a little hot glue just to keep them uh, a little more square and permanently affixed. Um, Hot glue is great, I can get it off and readjust if I need to. But as you can see, this is all my turning equipment. It looks nice, it's organized. It's, it's going to be out of the dust, out of my way. Here I've got my measuring and marking tools, pens, pencils, tape measures, you name it, squares. I did put clamps in, I'm not sure if this is going to stay, but a uh, nice way to keep them from hanging on my benches or laying on any flat surface in the shop. Uh, so again, um, you can see your know, router bits. Look at you know the flexibility of this system. It's just awesome. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy with it. Uh, really happy with the way everything turned out. And I'm hoping better organization leads to better uh, product. So thanks guys. Thanks for watching.